In this part 4 of our natural dye series, we want you to check out this amazing Thai tree. It's called Mai Pladu. It can produce an unbelievable range of natural dye colours. But these colours will change dramatically according to the age of the tree, how long you bore the wood and even the temperature you cook it with. And it's part of Dow's grandma's very best kept secrets. Now watch what happens here. Dow has cut pieces of an old Mai Padu tree, popping them into a glass of just lukewarm water, so the effect won't be as dramatic as if she was boiling it. But you can see already the green colour starting to emerge and e even a tinge of blue at the top. The longer she leaves, the more golden the colour will become. This one has been left for about 25 minutes and it's much lighter golden colour with no blue at all. Now you see the Mai Padu deep yellow natural dye colour being prepared to be applied to Thai silk fibres. It will be cooked for about 7 hours before being applied to the Thai silk fibre itself. Now let's see what happens when we use timber from a much younger Mai Pladu tree. As always, everything about natural dyes is time consuming and you have to constantly monitor the cooking process. But look what's happening here. See the blue colour emerging? This blue colour will permeate down over the next few hours and then it will change to a dark brown or maroon the longer you leave it. The real secret is to time it just right to get the colour that you want. So here's a comparison of the colours from this exceptional tree. The old tree colour is on the left and it's only been 30 minutes since they were placed into the warm water. Truly an amazing natural dye ingredient and some of Dow's grandma's very best kept secrets.